At the final performance of Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo, tragedy struck as world champion bull rider Lane Frost lost his life. This is our tribute to a great cowboy. This man's life has touched us all. He'll be greatly missed. Last Sunday, July 30th, Lane Frost, a world champion bull rider, would have one of the greatest rides of the year. He would score 85 points, win almost $10,000 at Cheyenne Frontier Day. This would be one of his best rides. But at the conclusion of the ride, the bull would ram his horn through the ribs of Frost. The broken ribs would sever a blood vessel. Lane Frost died on the arena floor. It's May of 1983. Lane Frost. A 19-year-old rookie bull rider has come to Del Rio to be a part of the world's richest bull riding. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. Young Frost has drawn the bull known as Darth Vader. Here, Darth Vader would show Lane Frost just how tough Del Rio can be. Battered and bruised, he was named the 1983 Tough Luck Award winner. Okay, boys. Come on. Come on. It's 1985, two years since he was named the Tough Luck Award winner. Lane Frost returns to Del Rio to capture the title of champion of Super Bowl. It's the world's toughest bull riding. Only the great ones are the champions. Lane Frost was that man. Before we started, I said, if you ride this bull right, he'll look at your big smile. All right, you tell me about the bull. Why don't you ask you no questions? Go ahead. Hi, well, like you come up to me before it started, you said I had the best one here as far as drawing him, and gosh, he was. It worked just right, just like this way we wanted it to. It was the first major championship in what was to be an illustrious career. <laughs> It's May of 1986. Lane Frost, back in Del Rio one more time, is about to repeat his title as champion among the world's greatest bull riders. Now what do you say, Del Rio? Ooh. Lane Frost was named the co-champion along with his traveling partner, Tough Hedeman. And once again, his body took a beating. Congratulations, you guys. Tough, I'm really glad to see Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. With all the beating he takes, ain't it about time? <laughs> See, you make it look so easy. He goes out there and gets his butt kicked and picks it up. Well, it's easier for him than it is for uh, me. Yeah. June of 1986, it's Lane Frost versus Mr. T. Mr. T is the world champion bull who has never been ridden. 
But in typical fashion, Lane Frost gave it all he had. He learned a bitter lesson when you make a mistake on Mr. T. Shoot, I just kind of up on his neck, and he just kept working on me before I'd get out of there. And I, but your teeth um, look good. I, they feel a lot better, too. It's been three weeks since then, and they feel better. <laughs> my old head feels a little better. I, it wasn't that bad the first three days, you know. My face was swelled up, my eyes got shut on me. But as soon as I got my eyes open where I could see, I was feeling a lot better. <laughs> the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. This is the showdown for the World Championship. Yeah. Lane Frost had so many spectacular rides at the national finals, they almost become a blur in our memory bank. Bull after bull would be conquered by the man who in 1987 would be crowned as the greatest bull rider in the world, world champion, Lane Frost. I always wanted to win a world championship, and I told myself if I, if I ever did that I could be a good world champion, and so now i got big plans to keep on going with it. 1988 would bring the history-making challenge of the champion. Lane Frost, the world's greatest bull rider, versus the world champion bull, Red Rock. No one had ever ridden him in 311 tries. Lane Frost, in the challenge of champions, would ride Red Rock four of seven times. For 1988, it was another jewel in Lane Frost's crown. But 1989 would see the world champion involved in some of the most violent wrecks of his career. The Bulls were battering his body. Every inch of his 5 foot 11 body was hurting from head to toe. Even Lane Frost wasn't exactly sure what had gone wrong, why he was taking such a beating. I don't know, it's just happened to me, George. I, I know I'm probably not built the best for being a bull rider. You know, I'm a little longer. I got another two foot in every direction for something to step on me or something to get a horn on me. So, you know, I got I got more shooting material than what a little short guy does. But, uh, I don't know, I'm holding together pretty good. A lot better than what a lot of them thought I would, I think. One week ago, Wednesday in Cheyenne, Lane Cross had one of the greatest rides of the year. He would score 86 points. He was on his way to earning over $10,000. He was back in the top 10. The champ was on top of the world. What a great bull ride. Thanks, George. I tell you what, I was needing it. I knew it was my turn to buy dinner. I, I had to do something. I'm real tickled. But you just had to give the crowd a thrill with that dismount. <laughs> well, I don't always ride that good, but I can usually get off pretty exciting or do something afterwards. <laughs> that was to be Lane Frost last interview, for he was killed on his next bull ride. He leaves behind a wealth of memories. Memories of a young man who was a world champion beyond the word world champion. He was a happy young man. Anyone who had the pleasure of meeting Lane Frost would surely leave him smiling. If it is true that a man's wealth is to be measured by how much he was loved, then Lane Frost was a very wealthy man. A champion in the arena, a champion in life. That was Lane Frost.